What's up everybody, Chad here for yet another Taco Tuesday and today we are putting a part on the truck. So, as you can see on here, we have a part from AFE. Now, if you have any guesses, go ahead, pause the video, put your guesses in the comments below. I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. Um, but, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. So, uh, the part that I have for my truck is a new exhaust. So, you may be wondering, why are you doing this? There's really no reason to go about doing this because an exhaust with these modern vehicles does not really squeeze out any more power. Even though on their website they do claim you get like 10 horsepower, 10 pound-feet of torque. With the new computers and stuff, it adjusts for a lot of different things, so you really don't squeeze out a whole lot of power, especially if you don't have an intake that's now different or uh, something different with the intake system. Anyways, so there are quite a few reasons that I did go with this uh, exhaust, and I'm going to show you the exhaust, the installation, and the reasons that I did go with this one in particular. So the reasons that I did go with this particular exhaust is because, one, when we are off-road, that exhaust that is on the truck stock has actually come into contact with some rocks and some other debris on the trails. Now, this is not for a lack of trying to be more or less careful. It just sometimes happens, and it's a reality of the trail. So the thing that is different about this particular exhaust, and you will see once it is installed on the truck, it is AFE's high-tuck model. So the exhaust tip is actually routed very similarly to FJ Cruisers and uh, the Toyota 4Runners of today, where it comes straight over the axle and then dumps out right about where the bottom of your bumper cap is on the passenger side. So it's no longer routed right behind the rear wheel. And on top of that, it does give you a, a little bit more of a deep tone. People online have compared this sound almost to the TRD Pro exhaust that you can get on the Tacomas. Uh, maybe a little bit more aggressive than that, but nowhere near as aggressive as a MBRP exhaust or um, any type of Flowmaster or any of those other high uh, caliber exhaust systems that are out there for our trucks. So I wanted to keep the drone that could be possible from an exhaust down on the highway because I do a decent amount of driving and if this can be a functional and a slightly more aggressive sounding exhaust system, I was all for it. So what we're going to be doing is unboxing it, putting it together, and then installing it on so what you're looking at here is the very end of the tailpipe, and obviously they do have their logo stamped there on the end, which is a kind of cool feature, but if it's tucked up, I don't know really how well you'd be seeing this, but um, the reason that um, we have this here on the table right now, obviously the things I laid out to you, but I was going back and forth with this for a little while, thinking like, no, I don't need an exhaust, there's really no reason for that, but it, they had a deal running on their website, and interestingly enough, I refreshed the page at one point and it dropped the price even further, which I guess is a tactic that a lot of websites use nowadays, but Anyhow, we have all the parts here laid out on the table, so if you do have a double cab long bed like I do, they do give you this extra piece that you do attach with the clamps that they give you, and if you have an access cab or a double cab short bed, you don't have to use that piece at all because the exhaust system is shorter in those uh, compared to my truck. So we're going to start piecing this thing together right beside the truck and then get the original exhaust off of it. One. You just pulled that out of place with your hand? Yeah. That's pretty impressive. They're still pretty pliable. It's That's why you do this with a new truck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the longer you wait, it's going to be exponentially harder yep. to get these off. I got this side, Caleb. Which way did that one come? Can I push it forward? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I'll push it towards me? Yep, whichever way you need to. Getting in the way, baby. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. You should be able to bring it right down. Watch your face. Look at them muscles, Chad. Oh, man, oh, man. Look at you. Yeah, all by myself, right? All by yourself? Yeah. What was that, Caleb? <laughs> sure. 
So we were just curious about the size difference here in the mufflers. And we really don't know what the muffler on side here looks like. I'm sure that there's a bunch of baffles and whatnot throughout the Toyota one that keeps it somewhat quieter. And this one is more of a straight through design. And if you can see in there, there are a lot of holes. Uh, we're going to see if we can grab a light and see if you can see on the inside there. Uh, but this is supposed to keep out certain tones that make it not super, super aggressive. It's only a bit more aggressive than stock. Uh, like I said, nothing quite like what a Flowmaster 40 or 50 or whatever may uh, be out there on the market. But we're hoping that this won't be too difficult and uh, we're going to put it together and put it back on the truck. So with the exhaust here in the bed, I think I might harvest this exhaust tip off for my truck, but with no exhaust at all, let's crank it up, Chad. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. That's what we like to hear. So when you are putting together your new exhaust, you are given these clamps that do come in the hardware kit with the uh, AFE exhaust and as with other exhaust systems you will more than likely get those as well. Um, and another thing that is reused on this, in this case because it was in good shape, is the gasket that does go around the exhaust where it does mate up there um, after the Y pipe. So that is one thing that you can actually get a brand new one of depending on the condition of it. Uh, when we had taken the exhaust off, the uh, factory gasket was still in place there and it looked great. So what we're going to do is start putting it together piece by piece from the Y pipe on the way to the back and we're going to put on the clamps and everything as well and we will show you all that process. What do you think? Sounds good. Give her some revs. Sounds a little bit deeper. Yeah, Slightly. I'd say it's deeper. Ready to hit the road? I am. Definitely more noise. Definitely more noise. It doesn't actually sound that bad. No. See, a lot of people when they do exhaust on the three and a half liter, it kind of sounds ricery, and I don't think this sounds too bad. No, it doesn't sound too bad. And uh, I mean, we don't know what it sounds like driving by from the outside, but like in here, it's yeah. a little bit deeper in the beginning. Yeah. But as you go up, it doesn't seem too terribly different. No. But then I guess once you really get up there, then it'll Right. Sound. No, I, I think it sounds pretty good, to be honest with you. And the way it's tucked up, I really like that. The way it's really running parallel to the frame there where it dumps, uh, there's no way it could get hung up on anything. And I think that's a really good design as well. Yeah, I agree. So let's see what it's like to look. Let's 
actually sounds a lot like the TRD Pro exhaust. See, and that's what I've I've heard. By yeah, because online. Yeah. at low load and kind of low RPMs, that's where you start to hear you know a little bit of rumble. When you get up in the higher RPMs, it really doesn't make too much of a sound. So I'm I'm pretty impressed. I think you did some some uh, good purchasing. Well, Money yeah. well spent. Yeah. So like I said, when I had gone on line and was just kind of looking around and came upon AFE's website, not really thinking I was going to be purchasing anything. And then uh, I came across exhaust for this truck and I was just kind of curious seeing what they had, watched a few videos and there aren't too many videos out there on the high tuck one, um, but there are videos on the other ones, which honestly are a little too aggressive for my taste. And that's what it sounds like. Um, there was one on there that was listed as like off-road or performance use only. Oh, which, wow. <laughs> I mean, apparently that that's going to be really loud, but this doesn't seem to be terribly loud in my opinion. No, I think it sounds really good. Hit it. There you go. <laughs> so that pretty much wraps up everything we have to talk about for this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing and liking the channel. We do really appreciate the support. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll catch you next time. See you guys.